Hey guys, Brewery 602 Beer Reviews here, at Brewery 602 on Instagram. My name is Marcus. Today I have a beer out of Tombstone Brewing Company, located in Tombstone, Arizona. Now this is a collaboration beer. Um, this collaboration is with Ground Control, which is in Litchfield, Arizona. This is These Hops Sure Can Fly. It is a double IPA coming in at 8.1% ABV. Now, Tombstone just recently opened up a second location in Phoenix. Now, unfortunately, uh, a brewery called Helio Basin, which I've done beers on the channel uh, from Helio Basin, uh, went out of business uh, because of the pandemic. I mean, not really went out of business, kind of sold <laughs> their brewery, and uh, Tombstone bought it. It's like the heavens opened up, right? I'm a huge Tombstone beer fan, and Helio Basin is not far from me at all. It's maybe a 15 minute drive, 15 to 20 minute drive for me. So not far at all. Uh, so Tombstone opened up there. I had tried to go there quite a few times, but they had weird hours and now they've settled in and have their hours all squared away and stuff like that. So I went by there, picked up some beers and this collaboration beer is with um, a a tap room, a bottle shop, it's a bottle, a bottle shop tap room, um, and they also serve food. It's called Ground Control. They um, bring in some amazing beers at Ground Control. I've never been to Ground Control. I've, uh, you know, it, it's kind of one of those things, right? Like they're in Litchfield, which is for me about a 45 minute drive. Um, we do stay, uh, like staycation in an area very near there. Uh, called the Wigwam, so we'll staycation in that area, but there's a brewery called TCBC there, so I'm like at TCBC most of the time when we staycation, and uh, Ground Control's literally right down the road from there, and I still have never been in Ground Control. It's definitely a place I gotta go because some of the food they present um, that they show on Instagram and stuff like that looks amazing, and they bring in some fantastic beers. So this collaboration beer, they actually did a... Uh, single IPA, double IPA, and a triple IPA, all, um, you know, called these hop shirk and fly. So that's really cool. Um, love the can art. It's, it's very, you know, simplistic, just a bunch of clouds. Pretty cool. Yeah. So 8.1, I think the, uh, triple was a 10% <laughs> beer, <laughs> this is a massive beer, but, um, I bought all three variants just to try them out and um, thought I'd review the double IPA. So anyways, let's crack it open. So happy that Tombstone opened up right down the road. Just pretty cool. If there was um, no pandemic, <laughs> I would be there, you know, having beers. But because of the pandemic, it's just kind of, you know, ran in, grabbed beers and left. I, I didn't get to explore, didn't do anything like that. I've still been really hunkered down um, and just, you know, been at home, go to work, come home. That's pretty much it. So now the beer comes in a very opaque, super, super opaque, uh, yellow color, pineapple juice color. It looks like pineapple juice in the glass. It looks like pineapple juice right? <laughs> That's what pineapple juice looks like. <laughs> Anyways, let me get a drive-by aroma. Ooh, man, that's good. <laughs> that's like, that's like gummy, like orange gummy worm um, with like a sweet vanilla. Um, that's like orange gummy worm, vanilla, and oats <laughs> again the initial like dry by is what do you just like your initial reaction to the beer and so the initial reaction is it's definitely smells kind of sweet so it reminds me of like orange gummy worms um it smells like there's lactose but there's probably not it's it does smell like kind of has like a vanilla kind of character to it but it does come off like this big gummy worm citrus character which is really cool let me get a deeper aroma man 
some little bit of dankness in the background, kind of a sweet um, pineapple in the background, sweet kind of peach in the background. There's like all these really like awesome tropical fruits, even like a berry aroma in the background that just amazing. Uh, Weedy, the head brewer and mad hop scientist, just knows how to use hops. It's probably the best in the industry on how to use hops. And, and it's, that's, it's saying a lot for this guy, but uh, for sure, I mean, the hops in this are just bursting out of this glass right now. Golly. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this it's the tropical pineapple and, and berries and white grapes. And there's this like, boom, 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 all these things just hitting you. It's just, the aroma is off the charts on this beer. Off the charts. Anyways, I got to taste it. Cheers. Yeah, that's just great. Yeah, that's just great. I mean, <laughs> the mouthfeel is medium plus. Um, very, very cloudy. It's clouds on a stupid can anyways. Um, there's a dankness to it. And a slight, very slight bitterness, which is like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> the bitterness helps so much because it does taste actually bigger than 8.1%. It comes off as bigger because there is that gummy worm, um, like orange gummy worm kind of thing going. Even maybe the orange with the, the clear, you know, gummy worm. That's what it is. And there's that gummy worm thing. And there's a really cool like peach, pineapple, grape thing, like white grape going on there and your taste buds are just popping and your palate is just popping, popping, popping everywhere. That's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, never really at a loss for words, uh, the, that little dankness and that slight bitterness are very pleasing to me. It's not like a sweet um, IPA that kind of gets lost in the shuffle. Definitely has a lot of character to it. The mouthfeel is very good. Just a fantastic beer. So this, I mean, Tombstone, Let Loose, you know, I mean, they went... When Weedy, the head brewer, lets loose on a beer, it's it's amazing. Going from like New England style IPA to um, fruited sours to um, like Roush beers to <laughs> you know uh, Imperial Stout, Tombstone man. If if you ever 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 make it to Arizona. Tombstone is a place you have to go. And I would go to Tough Nut Street. I would go to the brewery in um, in Tombstone because you can spend, you know, a week a weekend there and have a great time. I mean, like, an absolutely great time. So, anyway, I'm rambling on and on and on. Uh, Score-wise, it's, I mean, it, I, I'd go 98 Yeah, 98. Easy. Again, this is Tombstone Brewing Company in collaboration with Ground Control. You guys got to come down and try these beers. Fantastic. Anyway, my name is Marcus. Brewery 602 Beer Reviews at Brewery 602 on Instagram. Please follow, like, and subscribe. Cheers.